Now, this weekend, at Dublin Zoo and the Natural Confectionery Company are hosting a triple birthday celebration for Asian elephant calves, Kavi, Ashoka and Samaya, to mark their first birthday. Pete Wedderburn, our resident vet, went along to the zoo to meet those adorable elephants and find out more. Let's take a look. This morning we're at Dublin Zoo, meeting their three baby elephants, Kavi, Ashoka and Samaya, ahead of their first birthday celebrations this coming weekend. So Jerry, you're one of the zookeepers here at Dublin Zoo, and I know that it's the, um, the three baby elephants were born last summer and we're coming up. This weekend is the first birthday. Um, but tell me some of the background to the elephants in Dublin Zoo. Yeah, we have an amazing family herd of elephants here at Dublin Zoo. It was something we always wanted um, when we started out with this vision 10 years ago of having a sustainable elephant her herd here in Dublin Zoo. We have our bull Uppley in, in the background here, you can see who's almost six ton. We have Dina and Yasmin who are sisters and their offspring. So it's a biologically related herd, very important. Last year was usually significant. We had three calves born in the space of 12 weeks. So you can see them interacting and growing together. One in July, one in August, and one in September. So rather than have the three birthdays, this weekend we're going to celebrate all their birthdays together, which will be a, a remarkable event for us here at the zoo. Yeah, I know everything happens very slowly in the elephant world. Pregnancy is 22 months. Like the reason why the, the, the gestation of pregnancy and the last 22 months is that they have to be literally be born hitting the ground. An elephant, a young elephant can travel 20, 30 kilometers in its first day of life and it must be able to keep up with the herd and then it receives the protection of the herd it moves into the middle of the herd but they, yeah they well, after 10 minutes because we have a sand floor substrate all our elephant calves were actually standing within 10 minutes of birth and moving with the herd fascinating to watch and all the females circle around them to protect them as they would in the wild what you see here represents how elephants behave in the wild they've overhead feeders they've pools to swim in the natural herd dynamics they've sand that we can bury food in so the whole day is planned out for them that they can explore and find and show species specific behaviors that you would associate with normal elephant behavior. And are the elephants here just for show to the public or are they part of some sort of uh, scheme for endangered species? Uh, no, again, that's a really good question because these guys are the Asian elephant and there's less than 30,000 Asian elephants left in the world now. Massive problems, deforestation, running into trouble with, you know, tea plantations, they're being shot, they're being killed, they're getting fragmented populations all over the, the continent of uh, India. So they're in real trouble in their natural home ranges. So these are part of what we call an EEP, which is the European Endangered breeding program and that's why Upley came to us from Chester Zoo and he's a wonderful bull he was picked because of his makeup how he behaves and acts around the cows and calves he's really calm he's really confident and our young bulls will learn so much from him because what we know about elephants now is they only function as a family unit all the learnt behaviors are handed down from one elephant to the next stuff we can't teach them that ensures their survival we have the matriarch and the leader of the group who's a Bernardina and she issues the discipline and she makes the decisions of when they swim or when they move together. So it's a fascinating family unit. Would you ever release captive born elephants into the wild? That's the ultimate plan. That is the ultimate plan. Like we do work with conservation groups in, in India already and the Elephant Foundation to ensure wildlife corridors and Dublin Zoo actively plays its role in that where elephants can migrate from one area to the next to feed and not interfere with the villagers. It means giving the villagers a place to live, a sustainable income. So, and ultimately that will be the goal. Like, you know, that, you know, these elephants will be, have the ability to, to be introduced, but it takes a lot of logistics. And how long will an elephant live for? An elephant can live up to 50, 60 years. You know, it's going you know, 60, 70 in some cases. There is elephants that have lived to the 80, but okay. you know, the average being 60, 70 years old. You know. So it's a real long-term project for Dublin It's Zoo. a huge long-term investment project for us and we're really happy with the influence that we've made on a global terms you know lots of keepers come here from other zoos to learn to learn the way we manage them in such a respectful you know uh, way and and we've had huge influence many many zoo habitats now have have copied the inspiration from what we've done here because we're deemed to be so successful and it's great like you know the weekend coming ahead is going to be fantastic for everybody to call in we are you know we're our partners the national confectionery company we have lots of events to celebrate the the birth of the, of the calves from face painting to artifacts uh, keeper to Talks. There's going to be a whole range of activities, so we'll we let everybody know about that in the coming days. But it's going to be a really busy weekend. Well, it's great to look at them and it's great to learn about Thank them. You. So thanks very much. My Jerry. pleasure. My pleasure.
Soul Studio, sitting here in perfect calm, watching the elephants go, aww. Isn't it lovely? The zoo is celebrating, of course, the elephant's first birthday. And to celebrate that, we are giving away five family passes for this weekend's celebrations. For your chance to win, send us in your favourite memory of a trip to the zoo. You can text AM to 53131 or email at tv3.ie with your story. Do not forget to include your name and address. Now let's go and take the news with Stephen.